Welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Um, today I am reviving old videos. Okay, I just like went back a year ago and I just made a whole bunch of my videos private because let's face it, I wasn't really good when I first started, but you know, who is? Um, so what I am actually, I what I found out is that some of the videos, three of them that I've looked at, had really good footage so I am going to reincorporate those into some you know I'm gonna <laughs> talk and not be in the dark corner all, all kinds of weird stuff that was just wrong with those videos not be long and dragged out um so I'm gonna use the footage I'm gonna put them into new videos and what I'm starting out with is the watermelon series I completely loved that last year and I got the idea from watching a YouTube video from Janelle so I'm gonna I'm going to link her video in the description box below so you can check that out from a year ago. <laughs> um, anyways, and I, I really love the watermelon series. So this is video number one. There are three videos and I might add to that this year. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I know I'm going to do a fruit. Um, I'm going to fruit, fruit theme. So yeah, I think there is going to be watermelon. Um, I think there's going to be a new watermelon. So this is number one of the watermelon series, episode number one, and I hope you enjoy it. So let's get into the video. In this video, I used mulberry, green matcha, strawberry shortcake, jellies fairy dust, um, wave gels base, oops, base and top coat, a dotting tool, and this black glitter that I got at Michael's. I've already applied and cured the base coat. I'm going to apply green matcha on my pinky finger. my ring finger I'm going to apply strawberry shortcake rest of my fingers I'm going to apply mulberry. I'm going to clean up around the edges before I cure. For the watermelon design I'll be using a makeup sponge to sponge on the gradient. First I'll add mulberry. Then I'll add strawberry shortcake. Then I'll be adding green matcha and I've cut down a, um, a small piece of makeup sponge just so that there's less cleanup around the edges of my nails and I will just carefully sponge that on. One more sponge coat and then we're good. Okay, I think that looks great. So let me clean up around the edges and then we'll add the glitter. We just need a few little pieces of glitter for the seeds. I have not cured this nail after I put the third coat on yet and I will be taking my dotting tool to pick up the little pieces of glitter to apply them where I want you don't have to do it this way um you can just you know randomly sprinkle them on but I want to do it this way once the glitter hits the you know wet nail polish it it's transfer sticks on there so you don't have to worry 
about anything. And I think that's all I'm going to go with with the glitter. So now I will cure it and then we'll come back for the top coat. And this is what it looks like. If you want to add a little sparkle, instead of adding the, the top coat um, at the point where you're all done, you will first add the sparkle coat. And I just really love how this looks okay so I will cure this for 30 seconds and then we'll come back and you'll have to add a top coat on after this just to smooth it out because sparkles are kind of rough so you don't want a rough finish on your nails you do want it smooth I've add the shiny top coat on top of the sparkles and here is the finished look for that i hope you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you're not one of my subscribers please subscribe thank you for watching bye for now